Ok, 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 ok. Let me see if I can do the full screen here and then we can finally start. Hope it's working. Finally, we can start with the pyramids and I couldn't wait for this episode. I've been like... The Egyptian feeling is started in March this year and finally we are almost in December and we finally get into the first pyramid ever. <clears throat> So thank you a lot for the following up of, of the videos and etc. Uh, I am very happy to announce that the 27th of December we will host the first event archaeological debate ever in the metaverse. Yes, and it will be uh, with Louis de Cordier and David Miano from World of Antiquity super super happy for this and i will let you know more details next week but yeah this is happening and they will debate about the labyrinth of hawara so just saying but for without further ado how do you say let's go with the step pyramid now so i have a lot of answers but i still have a lot of questions so i want <clears throat> whatever i'm gonna show you today I will explain you the main narrative from the archaeological finds and studies and then you make up your own, you know, answers uh, as you as you like. So, the step pyramid was built by Joser, Faro Joser. This is the third episode that we are doing on Joser. This is the last episode of Joser and the first one uh, to so, so from now on we will uncover all the pyramids that will le that will lead to the great pyramid of Giza. So we will have like 10 episodes from now on and we will come to the pyramids of Giza by February, I suppose. So stay tuned. <coughs> and yeah, today actually like uh, I'm very happy, but uh, I'm a little bit cold anyway. So um, the step pyramid, this is the step pyramid uh, photographed in the 19th century. The first pyramid ever built by humankind. Now. There are other pyramids in Peru, which are the Caral pyramids. They're not as tall as this one, and uh, they date to the same period, so we don't really know exactly if they were be before or a little bit after. It's the same period. So, <clears throat> but until they were not discovered, this was the tallest building on Earth for, for uh, when, when it was built. And it's six, it was supposed to be 62 meters, um, but now obviously the, the cased stone, the, uh, they are gone. But back in the time, they were supposed to be like 60, 62 meters uh, high. They were clad in, uh, in uh, limestone, Tura, from Tura, so close to Cairo. And uh, we don't know if this was built uh, on 19 or 38 years, because we don't know exactly if Joseph reigned for 19 or 38 years. So it can be both... Uh, sorry, guys. <coughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we, we, we don't know if it was built over 20 years or 40. So. And uh, this, obviously, is the first building that was not... This is the first pharaoh that did not build in Abydos anymore. And um, it was renovated uh, many, many times during history. And first, first of all, the Persian period, the 26th dynasty. And then <clears throat> 14 years um, ago as well. So uh, they just reopened this pyramid for us to, to you know, to, to go and visit. Um, yeah. This is the pyramid and this is the entrance of the funerary complex. These pictures I took in January this year. There was nobody. It was amazing because of COVID. Uh, well, it was amazing because of COVID. Well, that's not great to say, but it was great for tourism. You know, well, it was not great for tourism actually. It was great for a tourist because uh, you could just go anywhere and it was empty. So here it is. Uh, this is what uh, this is. This is the result of 14 years of restoration. So it took 14 years to re to, to renovate, and probably 22 built, so I don't, whatever, whatever. Uh, we know that in, uh, yeah, so maybe we can just, I, I will show you a few pictures and then we start. This is Osama, the, the guy that uh, um, introduced me to, to, the, to the funerary complex. And if you ever find yourself in Egypt, follow this guy because he's a Brazilian speaker, Arab, he is Egyptian, but Brazilian speaker, Brazilian Portuguese speaker, so if you'd like to go, go with him 
<coughs> and uh, this is the entrance of the pyramid. Now, this is the entrance of the pyramid that was built um, in the modern times, and uh, it's in the south, and it, it connects to the Persian tunnel that was excavated under the pyramid. So it's not original, and uh, well, and, uh, and and the tunnel that leads to the chamber, it's not original. So it's from the 26th dynasty. Uh, yeah, so one thing that is crazy is this. Yeah. So this is a 30 meters shaft deep in the background, in, in background, in the bedrock. And it's uh, 7 by 7, like square. And it's absolutely mind blowing. When I came, when I didn't know this, I just, I, when I travel, I don't like to know what, what, what I'm gonna visit and what I'm gonna do. So I, I discovered this like that, and it's like, what? <laughs> what? So inside of the pyramid, not in the middle, but inside of the pyramid, you have this huge shaft. And down there, you can see there is what is supposed to be a sarcophagus. So, yeah, I will tell you a little bit later about it. Uh, this one here is the original entrance. And uh, you can see one, two, three, four... Uh, like kind of passages yes because this pyramid doesn't it doesn't just have this shaft but it has five kilometers 5.6 kilometers of tunnels down there so it's it's a crazy structure guys so this was first pyramid ever built uh, the tallest building on earth by that time uh, was fully built with stone so basically everything that is here apart from a little bit of mortar between the stones on the pyramid it's in stone and so they did this I, Imhotep did this uh, basically transport I, I mean that he basically uh, did in stone what the previous generations and dynasties did with mud brick uh, including the decorations yes you have decorations here uh, I sh I'll show you later so <clears throat> as I say we don't know if it was built in 20 years or 40 uh, was renovated many times three main guys I mean a lot of guys uh, explored the pyramid but the main I think the main one is like John Philip Lower which is the one I studied the books to do this video for and um, he took 75 years <laughs> he spent all all his life in in this funerary complex basically uh, and he wrote a lot of books about it so we have a lot inf of information about this tomb, uh, with, about this pyramid, so... But there are still a lot of questions, which I'm going to show you later. So there are six kilometers of underground tunnels, and perhaps these are connected to Giza, uh, all underground. So we don't know where all these tunnels go to. Uh, they're not... They, haven't, they have not been fully excavated yet. But anyway... <laughs> Sarcophagus is found, yes, so there was this, as I showed you, the, sar the main sarcophagus there, which we are not sure entirely if it was a sarcophagus or not, uh, but there are two, two sarcophaguses more in other, uh, I wouldn't call them chambers, but another tunnels to the east side of the, of, of, of the, of the, of the, of the underground structure, and those ones are crazy, because first of all, they are alabaster. Second, they are perfect. They are perfectly carved. Third, they have found a body of a little boy that predates Djoser by, 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 by a long time. Guys, I haven't found any information whatsoever about this boy and how older it is in relation to Djoser. And actually, I haven't found any pictures of the sarcophaguses to show you. So, I suggest you, if you want to see the sarcophaguses, to follow the Uncharted X um, channel on YouTube. He have done a video, he has done a video on the underground chambers of this pyramid. Uh, so just go, search, and you, at the end of that, of that video, he's showing you the sarcophaguses. That I, I haven't found any, like, that's the only thing I found. So amazing amazing uh, really thanks to Ben from Uncharted Lex so great job uh, there are <laughs> there have been found more 
than 40,000 stone vessels down there. <laughs> like, so, and a lot, like a few, like, well, I don't know if a lot or few, but some of those are dating before Joser, but the date before Joser in the early dynastic period Others, we don't know if they are they come from earlier periods. We we we, we assume not. Uh, so, but yeah, and uh, we, there is something to to be said here that from now on, from Himotep on, the stone vessels quality of ancient Egypt dropped uh, in quality. You know, so and up up until up until this point, the the quality of the stone vessels were amazing, like absolutely marvelous. I'm gonna show you soon. And there were found blocks of, uh, I think it's limestone, uh, that are huge and down there in tunnels. And they were carved. They they, uh, they were stars carved out from from the blocks. Uh, and this is a pattern that we will see later on, like uh, more than a hundred years later, in other pyramids, for example, Teti and Unas. So. Uh, and this is quite interesting because uh, we don't have any decoration whatsoever in the Great Pyramid of Giza or in the Red Pyramid or in the Bent Pyramid or any other pyramids uh, until Unas. So was like, uh, this is supposed to be the first pyramid ever and for 150 years the pyramids are absolutely anonymous. Anyway, and uh, a hip bone was found uh, ah, yeah, so actually I got confused. So basically, a hip bone was found uh, down there in the, in one of the galleries, and this dated way uh, much earlier than Joseph, not the boy uh, in the sarcophagus. Uh, one last thing: the, uh, the the whole construction process is a mess. So I couldn't figure it out. I, 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 so I found how I, I I found out how they built. The pyramid, yes, but I haven't found out about ramps and how they basically lifted the stones. That's the only thing I am, you know, the archaeologist says was ramps, but I don't know. So let's start. I'm going to show you because otherwise it's just talking. So this here, you can see the, you can see this like, you know, angle corner and you can see here the wall continues. So this is the proof that the uh, pyramid and Actually, the mastaba before the pyramid was enlarged, so the whole structure suffered. At least the upper part suffered a enlargement over time. Okay, so there has been. So uh, you can see from from this from this section, from Jean Philippe Loewe, that it was born as a mastaba, and then it became a pyramid, and then it became a bigger pyramid. Okay, it's very clear from here. And uh, I'm gonna show. I prepared a few diagrams to show you how they did this. So basically, they 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 began with a squared mastaba. Now, doesn't make any sense to make a square mastaba because, I mean, it does. It, it's okay. They, you can do a square mastaba, but it's never been done before. Okay, so they never done a square mastaba before. So this is why a person named Reynolds Taderman proposed that this was not was never intended to be a mastaba. Was always planned to be. A pyramid. I don't know. We don't know. Uh, one crazy other thing is that <coughs> apparently these eleven shafts here they date before Joser, so they were already here before the pyramid, before the mastaba. How does it? How does this work? You know, well, how how any of this makes sense? There are eleven shafts here, open to the air or whatever, or maybe filled with sand. They started with this, and they <coughs> after they enlarged it a little bit. With 76 degrees, which will be um, consistent over over the construction, 76 degrees will be the inclination of the pyramid, uh, <coughs> and they will incorporate, as you see here, the mastaba will incorporate later on the 11 shafts, and also the main shaft that I showed you before. It's not centered in the structure. Yeah, it's not. So, who knows, right? Yeah, so it happened, So these are the three stages of the mastaba. So first of all, they started with a square, and then they enlarge it, and they they enlarge it eastward to to cover the eleven shafts. Uh, now these are diagrams; they're not in scale. Just to show you how how it was done. 
Then they began with uh, with building on you know the this, the first skyscraper ever, <laughs> and uh, for a total of four steps, and it topped 42 meters. The stone blocks also increased in size. Was not, they were not 0 0.3 uh, meters anymore. It was 0 0.40 more or less. And uh, and the curious thing is that from uh, in the space between the mastaba and the pyramid, in this space here, the blocks were inclined. So they they were they were basically built uh, stacked, not in uh, not horizontally but inclined. I show you in this diagram here. You can see. Yeah, this is the 76 degrees in comparison to this one here. So this was uh, it's it's for stability, obviously. So by this time they would, they they okay. Let's ju let's just build it like that because that is, it's more stable. Um, and then they enlarged it again uh, to form the six steps mastaba. Like the whole thing is one football field. Okay, so it's 120 meters by 110 more or less, and. Uh, yeah, so this is basically what they've done uh, and how they did it. Now, how they lifted the stones? Okay, so this is not the Great Pyramid of Giza where you have, you know, uh, blocks that weigh two tons. So these are small blocks, and uh, up until this point, the the last this this last pyramid on top is uh, the last the last stage of the building. It's done with zero with 0 0.5 meters blocks, so it's like the the biggest are 0 0.5. So okay, they're heavy, but they're not crazy heavy, right? Uh, so they can just go and you know lift things. <laughs> but yeah, so and there are no in, like there are no chambers inside, so it's all in stone here. It's a mountain of stone, so. Yeah, so I can see how it could have been built, but uh, not precisely, okay? I, uh, it's not still precise the way I can tell you. Uh, where is the ramp, for example? Where is the, Where was the ramp? Where, and how, how high would have been the ramp, you know? And anyway, so this is what there is underneath the structure. So underneath the pyramid, you have this central shaft that I showed you before with the sarcophagus. Now the sarcophagus is a little bit uh, over a floor, and it's uh, basically like a sort of suspended floor in a way so it's basically the sarcophagus sits on a floor but it's not sitting ab on the ground like it's i think you got it right <laughs> and the original entrance was this one here and uh, it led af uh, outside the pyramid now how does this make any sense again because if they, they started with this mastaba and then the entrance this, as it was this one, were, it, it was going out outside of the mastaba. So it's like, yeah, okay, it's not the first time that this happened, but not as, not as, not with this extent. Uh, anyway, so they, uh, since they enlarged it and became a pyramid, then they built, uh, they excavated another entrance here uh, that led to the north temple, the mortuary temple. Okay, so basically this is the ritual passage that was dug in order to access the pyramid the center the center of the pyramid now again here there was a block of stone to block the <laughs> to block the shaft so why in the world would you would you dig the tunnel go down here and then it's blocked <laughs> like okay <laughs> like i don't i don't get it i don't get it but anyway uh if you have answers tell me because <laughs> And then, if you see down here, down in the burial chamber, you have tunnels leading right and left, and uh, so you have a lot of tunnels. Uh, we, I'm gonna show you soon. This is the North Temple uh, on the, you know, on the north side of the pyramid, and this is the trench that would let that will lead to the burial chamber. Okay, so if you are in the north, you go down, and then you go <coughs> in the central shaft. Now, all of these guys, <coughs> at the moment, is not accessible down there, although they renovated it, because probably it's, not, it's still not safe. Uh, but anyway. Uh, okay, so this is what there is down there, okay? So I know it seems like a mess, but it's not. So this is the entrance from the North Temple, it sh it, and, and it turns left, and then it connects with the central um, passage. 
which had these you know portcullis anyway and um, and then once you are down there in the burial chamber you have west east north and south galleries so this is actually cool because it's uh, orientated towards the cardinal axis this is very interesting and uh, to the to the west and to the south uh, the galleries were used as um, as uh, as they would say magazines so basically storage okay like uh, offerings and uh, and things like that whether in the east side you had the chambers the blue tile chambers and the and the steelies with um, with the joser performing in the Hepstead festival so like happy and rejuvenating okay so all of this part here, and it's uh, it's the it's basically the decorated part. Uh, I'm gonna show you soon. Now you see one, two, three, four. This is eleven shafts that I was that I was telling you before. These are not connected with the main chambers. Okay, it they were connected with uh, like um, uh, in the modern times, I suppose, or by or by the robbers or whatever. But they were they're, they're in different levels. Okay, so the eleven shafts are deeper. Than the origin, than the than the main one, which you know, uh, which makes me think, which makes everybody think, like what what the hell is going on here? <laughs> um, so uh, these ones are the eleven shafts, as you can see, they're named one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like uh, they're named eleven, <laughs> one in numbers. Uh, you can see they're all, they're connected between each other, and sometimes you find pieces or sarcophagus is there so for example here you have one uh, which is not actually noted um, but then you have here sarcophagus d'alabastre uh, and uh, you have these two right these are the two very precise sarcophaguses that uh, uncharted x uh, fi filmed in the, in, the, in the video that i told you and uh, if I'm not wrong, they found the body in the number five, probably this one here, or the hip bone, uh, well, somewhere, somewhere in this part. So, uh, this is a mystery, guys. I don't know what's going on here. If you wanted to access this part, you can access from the main or through here. But this passage is already blocked uh, by this point. Uh, at, the, at this point, so you can't access that. <laughs> And you can't even access anymore this part of the pyramid at this point. I charted that Ben from Uncharted was able to go there, but when I was there in January, they told me it was not accessible. Although the lights were on, but anyway, these are some of the forty thousand stone vessels that were found down there. Now some of them are incredible, are incredibly precise. You know, they're amazing work of art. Uh, and some of some others are less, you know, and uh, which makes some people believe there are two different industries. And uh, but anyway, like uh, this is not a topic I want to uncover. There is uncharted eggs for this, for this. So it's not this is not an Egyptian feeling. This is we talk about architecture, stone vessels. Um, yeah, so this is how they uh, found the tunnels down there the conditions of the tunnels and uh, I'm not sure if this timber is actually the original structure or not uh, I don't know but yeah this is how the space was when Lauer went there <coughs> it's probably a picture from Lauer actually they are actually 1938 imagine you are there with a candle and, well, anyway uh, this is the um, relief of Jaws uh, performing the headset uh, festival uh, if I'm not wrong but anyway it's a, re it's a relief that is down there in the gallery and uh, you have you have both in this tomb and in the south tomb these kind of reliefs and the blue faience if you want today to to go through the blue tiles uh, you have to go in the Saqqara museum or the Imhotep museum because they basically what they did to to make sure to, to save the monument is like they took all the uh, blue tiles and put them in the museum and reassemble them in a way to save them from potential earthquakes you know this this whole area it can easily fall down any any time so it's a, it's a it's a miracle that we already we are still here talking about this these are the stars that they were found on the huge blocks so this is nothing to do with the blocks of the pyramid because it, 
they're way bigger. Now, it makes me wonder if there was ever a uh, chamber like uh, the imagine, like the Queen Chamber of the Great Pyramid, like you know, uh, with a with a roof like this. But I don't think so. They, they, this seems like too big to be. Like the stars are big; they're not small as the Eunice ones, and also the blocks. They don't. They don't. They're not big enough to do that. So I don't know. These are the blue ties that that are still down there, thanks to Isida Project for the for letting me the pictures. Uh, uh, they're just amazing, right? This one here, if I'm not wrong, is the space beneath the sarcophagus, the main one, the big one, the granite black granite one. And uh, but yeah, it makes me wonder why they they just didn't put it on the floor and why why putting a space beneath beneath between the sarcophagus and the actual bedrock so i don't know this is the sarcophagus how they found it uh, back then in the times now you can see one two and three um, tubular drills but they're not there anymore i wonder what happened during the time they substituted the stone where is the original stone like this i show like i can show you let's go back to the to the picture i took it's not the same block. I mean, maybe it is, but it doesn't, you know, it's it's changed. Something happened here, okay? So, I don't know. Something happened, okay? I'm not suggesting anyone, I'm just saying it's not, it's not the same. Maybe it's the same stone, but it's not the same, you know, shape anymore. So, I wonder what happened to this stone. But anyway, this is how they found the sarcophagus. They, they thought that this was the floor, but actually, they when they cleaned up the whole thing from the rubble, they, they discovered that was a sarcophagus and then the, all the tunnels uh, that were around. Yes, uh, wooden frames, basket and ropes. This was found uh, and it's, uh, these, you know, these are the tools that we found uh, that could have helped building the whole thing, you know. We don't know, this was, it was what we found. <laughs> Uh, maybe it was a stair, maybe it was uh, just a frame for some reason. I don't know, guys. It's just, uh, this is what we found. And uh, you make your mind about this. <laughs> so I have, a quest I have a lot of questions, and I want, please reach out to me with your answers. And uh, how was the pyramid built? Like, we know how it was built. We don't know uh, how they lifted the stones, right? Was Were they lifted by hand, like, or just... Two people carrying each other, boom and boom and boom and go high, high, high. Who knows? Like I don't know, but you tell me. Uh, where is the ramp? Uh, we don't know. I don't know. <laughs> where is the ramp? Uh, what was the construction sequence? How you know? Uh, what what came before? I couldn't figure it out. Was the burial chamber? Was the tunnels? Was the how did it start? What 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 was the sequence? Uh, I couldn't figure it out. It's such a mess. How come was? Uh, sitting on a much older burial how and how much older you know and uh, which is something that makes some people believe that all the substructures of the pyramids and mastaba are pre-dynastic uh, from a far lost civilization guys no i mean there is no indication of that okay i'm sorry but i love the idea but there is no evidence of that i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> i love the idea but yeah why gathering the treasures from Abydos? Yeah, so basically Joser took all the, <laughs> the stone vessels from other pharaohs and put them in inside his pyramid. <laughs> and I was like, why, bro? <laughs> like, why doing that? But why the shafts uh, considered family shafts? Uh, ah, yeah, so the, the 11 shafts are considered the, the family shafts. Like, the but why? Like, why, 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 why do you th we think that that's the family of Joser since we found bodies that were way older than Joser? So, and what makes them think that it was a family? I, I haven't understand. Uh, why no pictures of the alabaster sarcophagus? Is why we don't have them? Why we just have to rely on independent YouTubers going there with a little camera? Why? Why? Where are the pictures? Why closing off the burial chamber if it was intended to be accessible? The thing I was saying to you, the protocol is between the, the, the corridor and the central shaft. Uh, why? Uh, I don't know. Why the shafts are not connected with with, with each other, like the, the 11 shafts with the main one? Like, why, why, why? What, what, what's going on? And if the shafts were older, why the Mastaba did not start on top of 
those shots. Uh, so, anyway. Guys, I'll leave you with uh, these all questions. Please reach out to me. Uh, if you like the video, like the video. If you like to subscribe, please do. Because next episode, the son of Joseph. This guy tried to make a pyramid. And uh, I will tell you the story uh, very soon. The buried, the buried pyramid. This is what they call it. Hope you liked it. And I speak to you very soon. Bye-bye. Um,